Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update of something I was looking at last night and I just needed to share it with you. And in my opinion, this is the biggest problem in the cryptocurrency space right now. There's many different things that challenge the cryptocurrency space. And like I've told you before, in the long run, I think everything's going to work itself out. Everything will be good to go. But I was reading this story last night and this guy, so he bought $35 worth of XRP on Coinbase and he is now trying to sue XRP because he is not a billionaire yet from his $35 investment. And guys, this is the biggest problem in the space, in my opinion, is the clickbait. You know, the thumbnail titles that say Bitcoin's going to a million dollars or XRP's going to a thousand dollars. Guys, for XRP to make it to a thousand dollars a coin, you're talking about a trillion dollars or more into that business. And it's just not going to happen. You know, could XRP be three, five, ten dollars down the road? I believe it could get there at some point. But what we have to do is take the price action one day at a time and see what's going on. But these people who have, who have expectations of investing a hundred dollars in retiring, it it's tearing people apart. And I've seen people who have just been utterly devastated by this market. And that's why I want to be here to help people. Number one, not FOMO. Number two, look at the market in a slightly different way and really looking at, at it for the technicals. Because guys, you got to remember, each time you have those big spikes, people who bought up in those areas the last time, they want to get out. They want to basically say, I broke even now. I'm out of here. I don't want to deal with this anymore because they've been sitting at such a loss. Think of people who bought XRP at $2 and now it's down at 19 cents and they're still just waiting, 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 hoping that it will come back. And that's why trading can be so beneficial for you because if you learn these things, you'll learn when to cut your losses real quick and get into the next one. And you got to think about it. Whenever you're holding these coins and you're holding them for a long time like that, your capital is tied up up when you could have been in something that's in an uptrend and you're positively making money and then once you make money off that coin then you can start bringing more back into xrp or one of these coins that's extremely depleted and that's what i like to do i don't want to tie my money up on a coin that's consistently going down until i start to see some reversal but that's one of the biggest problems in this space is people and their expectations like i said when i got into this space i was listening to the wrong people before i started studying myself i just heard about cryptocurrency it was april or may of two 2017. So I got in at the right time before we went parabolic, but I didn't take the profit like I should have. I saw unrealized profit go straight up. And then guys, I saw it start coming back down until I eventually learned how to trade. And then I, I took my profits and I started working with this on the trends from the short, the intermediate to the longer term. But these people, some of them are out of their minds. You think that for investing $35, you should be a billionaire by now. And he's suing Ripple over that. It's just crazy, guys. So that's what I'm trying to bring to you today. Just really protect yourself in this market. There's so many scam artists and things like that. Just really be careful. You know, there's great guys too. I'm not, I'm not, you know, slamming on the whole space in general. But overall, guys, if you hear some Bitcoin going to a million dollars by the end of this year, it's just not going to happen. If we could get back to all-time highs, I would be thrilled. And like I've said before, I'd be tickled and many other people would as well. But you got to take the price action one day at a time. You know, could Bitcoin be a million dollars down the road 10 years from now? Anything can happen in this space, guys. Or it could be, you know, $1,000. It just is what it is. It's all about that supply and demand and the things that are taking place with it. So... I just wanted to come on here today and just tell you to be careful in this space. Really do your due diligence, study, research, and then make your decision. So I want to bring that to you guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm always going to try to keep it as real as I can with you. I don't care if people call me a permanent bear. It is what it is. I'm just going to keep working, and I'll show you the best that I can, the upside, the downside, and the sideways. God bless you all, guys. Like, subscribe, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Take care. Happy New Year.